Hello there and welcome to Dolan Bikes. Now I know what some of you must be thinking, what gives Dolan Bikes? You just sent me a humongous cardboard box, it's light as a feather, there can't be a bike in there. Well don't you worry dear customer, I can assure you all that's happened is that you've simply ordered the lightest road bike in our catalogue. That's right, your brand new Dolan Tuono carbon road bike has just arrived in the post. My name is John and today it's my job to tell you how to turn this box into that very bike. Let's get started. Now to build up your Tuono, you'll just need a handful of simple tools, those being a 4mm Allen key, a 5mm Allen key, and a 6mm Allen key, along with a standard torque wrench and a good pair of scissors. Step one, nice and simple, very exciting. What we're gonna do is take our scissors, cut open the box, and have a look at the wonders inside. So there we go, let's see what we've got. So here we go folks, this is what your Dolan Tuono should look like when you open the box. A few things to mention, I'm gonna start at the front end here. These are the Da Da Vinci handlebars that this bike has been specced with, fully internal cabling. And with this build, the bars have just been tilted downwards just to fit in the box a bit easier. So those are fitted for you, but they'll just need adjusting. Seat post needs fitting as well, but you may have also noticed these two mad lads here. These are DI2 wires, as this particular tone has been specced with DI2 12 speed. So I'll be running you through how to fit those wires when we attach the seat post. And last but not least, your front wheel also needs attaching as well. You can start with any part you like, but today I'll be starting with the seat post, which you can find just down here next to the rear wheel. So when it comes to attaching your Tuono seat post, what you're gonna to wanna to do first is take this bit of cardboard off here. Nice and simple. Throw it to one side, you should have better access and be able to reach your seat post <coughs> down at the bottom of the box. And it may be worth just lifting the rear wheel up slightly just so you can get it out a bit easier. There we go. What you're gonna notice is that your clamp is taped to the post as well. You're gonna to wanna to just unwrap that now. There we go. Putting the post and clamp to one side just for the time being because you're gonna to need to cut away the tape that's um, securing these wires down. There we go. Now those are loose. What you're gonna do is take the post and you should find two of the sockets socket holes where the wires go in. It's not necessarily important which one goes in which, as long as you fit them nice and firmly. There we go, there's that one fitted, and there's two. So what you're gonna do is feed the wires down, making sure they don't get trapped on the outside. Pushing them firmly into the frame. You're going to get your clamp, ensuring all bits of tape have been removed. The clamp is going to go in first, and then you're going to feed the seat post in. There we go. Shimmy that down just to a random height for now. Then you're going to get your 4mm Allen key and tighten the clamp up. There we go. But since that's only been hand tightened for now, you're gonna get your torque wrench and set it to 10 Newton meters as that's the maximum for this particular seat clamp and make sure that's tightened up properly in the frame. There we go. So there's your seat post and saddle nicely attached to your frame. So now you can take your bike out of the box and secure it in any way you see fit. If you don't have a bike stand in this situation, what we suggest doing is taking this bit of foam that the fork's resting in inside the box Putting the forks into the foam, then leaning the bike against a secure surface like a ball or a kitchen unit or something like that. If you do have a bike stand, there we go. Now the next step is gonna to be to adjust our handlebars because as you can very much see, and as I mentioned before, they have been tilted downwards to fit in the box. For this, you'll need a four mil Allen key and a five mil Allen key for the Da Vinci stem bolts. You're gonna loosen those bolts, tilt the bars upwards to the correct level for yourself, and then you're gonna tighten each of the four bolts back up again to five Newton meters.
So now that your bar's been adjusted to the correct level for yourself, what you're gonna do is take your trusty torque wrench and tighten each of those four bolts up to five newton meters, as I mentioned before. Starting with the four mil bolts, and with stem bolts, it's important just to do one rotation in each bolt, one at a time, so that way they tighten a bit more evenly and you're not gonna risk damaging your new handlebars. There we go, that's both of them torqued up. We're gonna change to a five mil Allen socket and tighten up these bottom ones. And there's two. So there you go, your handlebars are nicely secure on the end of your stem. So now it's time to take our trusty scissors from before and cut away all the bits of tape surrounding our lovely new bike. So now based on this camera angle, you'll be safe in assuming we're about to fit your front wheel. Now if you look to your forks, you're gonna notice your axle's already in the frame for you. To remove this, you're gonna need your six mil Allen key and just unscrew it like so. There we go, should just slide out once it's loose enough. And you're gonna put it to one side just for the time being because what you're also gonna notice is this little fella here. This red space is between your disparate calipers so they don't squeeze together whilst in transit, for example. To move it, simply just pull it out like so. Now it's important you don't squeeze your front brake calipers up until the wheel is fitted. And to do that, you're gonna take your wheel and your axle, slide the wheel between the forks, ensuring the rotor is on the correct side. Pop the axle back in. Take your six mil Allen key and start tightening that up. There we go. Now we're gonna get our torque wrench and tighten that to 12 Newton meters. There we go. There's your front wheel nice and secure on your new road bike. So there we go folks, your Dolan Tuono carbon road bike is fully assembled and ready to ride. Now, since Tuono means thunder in Italian, it is now time to leave your riding mates Tuono struck as you pull away from them and let them bask in the shadow of your magnificence. Now, if you've got any more questions regarding the Tuono, you can find the link to it in the description down below and that'll take you directly to our website. Alternatively, feel free to call us or email us and we will do our best to assist you in any way we can. Follow us on our social media channels. The links to those are in the description down below for all the latest news and updates about Dolan bikes. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to our YouTube channel for more videos about all things Dolan. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoy riding your new road bike.